Hello YouTubers. I want to talk to you about some shells I bought. Heavy shot 10 gauge. I don't know how well or how clear you can see that. 10 gauge, 3.5 inch, 1 3 quarter ounce, 1350 feet per second, 2 shot. Now normally, these things are so expensive, normally I wouldn't even give them a second look. I just walk right past them. They were at uh, a place called DMB. They sell all kinds of stuff. And I've been eyeballing these for since the first time I've seen them there. They had them there, I think I first noticed them like three or four years ago. And I thought, yeah, they'll put them on clearance because I'm, I'm the only person that ever buys 10 gauge ammunition around here. And most of the time I reload, but uh, last year and this year I've bought some. Anyway, they are retail, regular price, $74.99, plus your firstborn son. Well, might as well be. $74.99 for 10 shells. So every time you pull the trigger, there's $7.50. It's a lot of money for shotgun shells. Well, then they clearanced them down to, I think it was... 60 some dollars, I think. And I ignored them again. They had five boxes of them. <clears throat> then they lowered them to $50, which you see here. And I still didn't buy them, but I went in there and I, like two or three times I said to them, you know, if you lower the price to $40, I'll buy them. And they, they said, well, you can't do that. I said, well, they'll collect dust. So then finally, I had taken some money out of my retirement account for some things, and I had some overtime also. So I had a little extra money. So I went in there and I told him, I said, if you put them, mark them down to, if you drop them down to $40, I'll buy all the whole lot. So the lady went back there and talked to the, person who adjusts the prices and they say yeah yeah as long as you buy them all of course one of them I didn't realize it's not this box but one of the boxes had nine shells in it that's why they were all taped up someone had managed to shoplift one shell out of it so I instead of 49 shells I've got or instead of 50 shells I've got 49 but I found out their cost was $52 a box, so they took a beating on it. I was almost more excited about the negotiation than I was about getting the shells. Anyway, um, <clears throat> since I've had them, they have performed pretty impressively. Now I did this, I took a, did a pattern test on this target, which this target was also on clearance. And a tablet of like 25 peel and stick targets. They have them on clearance, so I bought a couple of those. Anyway, um, I hit high. The center of the pattern's up up here somewhere. But you turn it over, you can really see that's 40 yards. That would have killed anything I shot with it, pretty much. And several head hits on this turkey head. So, I was pretty impressed with that. And since then, I have managed to get um, one mallard, Drake, and it was out there, and it was in a stiff wind. I mean, it was a gusty wind I was hunting in. And I have video of it, which I will air it. And uh, anyway, I mean, at times the wind was hard to even stand in. Anyway, I just dropped it right down. And it was a pass shot. And then I got two geese with it a couple days ago. Pretty long distance shots. Uh, I didn't use the range finder, but I stepped it off. 
my steps being approximately a yard. Of course, the wind blew it a few yards, but it wasn't that high to start with as I had flushed them and shot at them. Anyway, uh, it was 92 steps. <laughs> and it was dead. Stone cold dead. And the number two shot penetrated all the way into the organs. So I don't feel a bit guilty about taking the long shot at all. And then a little later, some other ones flew past, and they were just as far. And I dropped one of them, broke the wing, and uh, or did it. No, I don't think it broke the wing. It dropped it, and it was bleeding internally. It was still alive, but and I finished it off with a swatter load, but it would have died anyway. So I was pretty impressed with that. So, uh, and I have, I have video of the first goose, but not the second goose, unfortunately. Uh, the second one caught me by surprise, the camera was off. So anyway, uh, I will be putting those videos up, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with this shot. Is it worth it? If you got the bucks, you bet you. I would say so. I would say if you have the money, it's worth it. If you don't, you have to, you know, stick to what you can afford. Which after this, I'll probably be back to shooting steel again after I run out of these. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.